Yeah, so location is... God damn, man. Mariah Carey said it best. Overhead lighting is just the fucking worst. When you pay for something that is exclusive, when you pay for something that requires a little bit more than what is considered to be regular, you genuinely want that exclusivity. You genuinely want that experience. And we're on the third floor, B. Let me show you. This is my balcony. There's there's more floors up there, so it's like it's like seven seven more floors. All right, the swimming pool is on the top. You guys have seen that. Sixth floor, they could have put me on the sixth floor, but instead they put me on the third floor. So all of that money I spent, it's like you only get, you know, the third floor. And in terms of the finishing of the room, I'm I'm happy with the finishing of the room. I have no, I have no complaints. Like I said, when you go to, when you go to a place that's five star or four star, I can't remember what this was. I'll check it again. These are these are some of the things that you look. At. You see those plugs over there? Those are international plugs. They'll take the UK space, they'll take the European space, they'll take all spaces. I have never seen chicken wings at a Mackey D's before. But lo and behold, this Mackey D's has chicken wings. Right there. 10 Mac wings. Let's see, let's see what they look like, man. That's the Big Mac. And these are the wings, bro. These are the McDonald's wings. That's so crazy. All right, let me dig into this, man. I'll let you know if you if you guys want to know. I'll let you know. The chair is a bit. The chair is a bit funny. You see that? You see that crack over there? That crack over there. Yeah. If you when I sat on it, it moved forward, and I was like, I immediately jumped off because I'm not paying anyone. For a busted chair i'm not doing that i am slightly disappointed i thought aside the water and the coffee i thought there'd be something free in the fridge you have to pay for this shit. um other than that i think it's fine i think it's fine would i come back here again no i wouldn't come back here again would i spend my hard-earned money to come to this hotel no i probably wouldn't i probably wouldn't um I probably wouldn't. It's not worth it. It's not worth it because I'd rather get, I'd rather get a regular room somewhere else than pay for a suite that, to be quite honest, is is mid level. It's very very mid level. But yeah, I'll I'll put this up. Uh, I'll put this up and then you guys can can judge for yourselves. But at least I came here so that you don't have to. <laughs> Shallow six on the track. And try not to take the camera out bit too much but this is the secondary pool so yeah today's not today's not the best day but rooftop swimming pool I mean it's actually not that bad 
Uh, you got seats over here and you can record the whole thing. I mean, I don't know how everyone else is taking swims out here, but I definitely do mine on a rooftop. The sun, the sun needs to come out. If the sun doesn't come out, this isn't really a flex. Like, the sun needs to come out for this to be a flex. It's raining a bit, nothing too major. I don't have a jacket on, but we should be able to head to where we're going in like 15 minutes, so we should be fine. Everybody has one of those uh, waterproof, what are they called, the wet, Jesus Christ, what are those things called? The shower cap? The rain the rain jacket? <laughs> what the fuck are those things called? Anyway, everyone seems to have one. Um, I'll probably have to go and get one from the market, but today's the only day in Hoi An, so I should be fine. But I think if you just use your common sense and move out the way when you see a vehicle that's a bit too big or, you know, just use your common sense when you're on the side of the road, because not all the time is there a footpath, so there's a jeep coming in our direction. We'll just move out of the way. Common sense. So yeah, even walking through a dark little alleyway like this, I'm cool, man. I'm not even tense, man. If this was, if this was in the UK, I'd probably think twice about it. But. I have been missing Indian food so much since being in Vietnam that um, I think today I'm gonna have some Indian food. So let me show you guys what I got. I got the lamb biryani standard. I got the garlic naan, that's the yogurt. And this is supposed to be alu gobi. I think it's supposed to be alu gobi, which I missed a lot. Um, and then yeah, missing the Indian food in the UK, missing my regular spot in the UK uh, where I get Indian food from. And I've been here for a month and I just, I really miss, I really miss Indian food, man. So let's taste this, let's see how it goes. This is your spa area. Looks really, really cool. You got your treadmill over there. I didn't bring my shoes, but that's still an excuse. And then you got your weights. Your tens, and yeah, ten is the ten is the heaviest one here. So we're not really going to be doing any any swatch nigger moves out here. <laughs> 